Four hype is real, man. We are getting breaking news out of Switzerland. Geneva has suffered a massive attack. Okay, yeah. So Black Ops 4. This crowd continues to rise, and there's no end in sight. This is Top Cat Sovereign. Divert and deploy all available assets immediately. Holy oh, shit. I really appreciate <clears throat> the, the work these guys put in, but Battlefield kind of. He's clowning him with those Twitter comments, saying it looks like a whole game, and honestly, it, it does. Even the way they're just the moving, the world. falling, it seems like like with Gears of War 4, they got new death animations, and this is just their yeah. To be honest, I don't want to not like this game. I want to like. I've been a huge fan of Call of Duty since Call of Duty. I was only a camp point. I, let me make our situation absolutely clear. But, uh, we are now at war. Cod 4 got me hooked Halo 3, got me hooked to online shooters. Godspeed, captains. And, uh, you know, I don't want to just hate this game just because everyone else is. But when I first heard about it, I was like, okay, that's cool. And everything looked pretty damn awesome, but this Call of Duty is really good at hyping their game. You got eyes then, on this uh, race? It just gets boring until the, the DLC drops. And now that the DLC is a PS4 month early exclusive, it's kind of a piss off now because watch your favorite YouTube YouTube people. This. Do a barrel roll, Fox! The fuck? Still cool. Still cool. I'm not gonna hate on it. That's pretty awesome. Doing some dead space vibes here. Snap him. Snap him. Don't get me wrong, this game already looks really sick. Like Call of Duty, they know how to make a fucking game. But the problem is you want COD 4 type feel to it. You know that boots on the ground and then some improvements, but nothing too good. And now we got Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and now Infinite Warfare. Kind of crap. Here we go. Here's the best part of it. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that looks. I'll put the actual footage with better quality in the link below, but look at this beauty right here. Oh my goodness. My favorite part to me puts the oh yeah it is the recoil everything about it just everything reorder the legacy edition to get modern warfare remastered hello to my fellow gamers it's your boy chef baker you just saw me react to the to the video and uh for the first part you know it was boring i was hardly even talking but did you notice how even though it was only like a 30 second clip not even that of call of Duty 4 i started getting super excited yeah, you can tell what game I'm more excited for. It's, it's kind of funny because you think you'd be excited for the newest game. You know what I mean? Like we were all excited for Master, like for us Halo fans, we were all excited when we heard Master Chief Collection was coming out. But when Halo 5 was coming out, we were more pumped for that because yeah, it was awesome to have uh, the Master Chief Collection Edition remastered, but we wanted Halo 5 more than that. And uh, so yeah. When it comes to this Infinite Warfare versus COD 4 thing, you know, it's bundled together and they're smart for doing that. That's a smart business plan, but it's kind of greasy and it, it pisses off a lot of, Ge uh, Gears of War, it pisses off a lot of Call of Duty fans, sorry. And, you know, we all have a right to be pissed off because on top of that, like, I was trying to rationalize, and I'll get back to my other train of thought, but I was trying to rationalize, okay, COD Infinite Warfare, I was probably going to buy it anyways you know but I was telling myself you know after Black Ops 3 I'm probably gonna just stick to the Treyarch brand but 
Infinite Warfare comes out, and I was I was kind of interested in it. I was like, okay, okay, you piqued my interest. Maybe I'll get it. You know, I was planning on watching some some game or commentaries from my favorite YouTubers, such as Hutch, Wings of Redemption. Although he likes going by Jordy Jordan now. Um, uh, only use me blade and many other commentators and watch their gameplay you know see how they enjoy it you know wait wait till the honeymoon's over wait for the first DLC to drop and if I liked what I saw I'd get it but now I feel pressured like I have to get it because it's Call of Duty 4 remastered like this game was so addicting so fun I don't know how many times I, I remember signing out and I was in a party chat with like a bunch of my buddies and I'd be like yeah I'm gonna go to bed it's getting late you know for school and they'd be like yeah okay see you all right it's kind of like trying to be the the good one the wise one the smart one and you know call it quits and you know how usually when your friends disassemble whether you're hanging out in person or online you know one person takes off slowly everyone just kind of fans out in different directions and call her quits but yeah so I, I called her quits and then the next day in school my buddies fucking they wouldn't even show up or they'd be bloodshot zombies trying their best to stay awake but anyways I was trying to rash oh this is my one and only death a fucking RC car I was trying to play more passive more slow stop the rushing cause I uh, you know I was trying to get an impressive gameplay and uh, RC fucking car get me sorry for swearing so much but for the younger viewers but it's rated M so I just assume if it's a rated M game I'm allowed to swear come on anyways so Master Chief Collection Edition it's about I forget how much it was like an average game price is like $70 so 70 bucks I'm guessing right and then Gears of War Ultimate Edition comes out 70 bucks okay not a big deal. I'll, I'll, I'll spend the money for Gao, Gao Yui, especially since you get the, the early access beta key for Gears of War 4. So I was like, hell yeah, that's a hell of a deal right there. And then I look at Call of Duty 4, and it's it's kind of a hell of a deal too. You you buy, it's 70 bucks, just like Master Chief Collection, and just like Gears of War Ultimate Edition. But it's kind of a piss off in a way though because it's not the full game you are only getting 10 maps so here's what I think they're gonna do with the DLC in Call of Duty 4 now it's gonna sound crazy because the new game the DLC for that game is not gonna really match a COD 4 type era but it is on the next gen so I believe that the maps can go both ways it can cross over to the COD 4 so whenever they drop the DLC for infinite they're probably gonna be dropping it for Call of Duty 4 as well that was a nice outplay I'm sorry I had to those are some noobs but still that was nice anyways I feel like they're they're gonna piss off a lot of players because 10 maps is definitely not enough so what they I feel like they're planning on doing is surprising us by dropping the infinite warfare map packs or the DLCs and then on COD 4 all of a sudden you'll you'll sign in you go play some COD 4 as most of the players will be doing I believe and then they'll notice the DLC and they'll be like what the hell's this they'll press it they'll play it and then the playlist it'll be the Call of Duty 4 infinite or sorry I keep saying that Call of Duty infinite I'm just gonna call it infinite just for short so they'll see infinite maps on COD 4 and everyone's gonna be mind blown that's what I feel like they're gonna do it's either that or they're gonna really pinch every dollar out of us as they usually do with the supply drops and the mini microtransactions and whatnot you know smart business but as a gamer I really don't like that system anyways so they're probably gonna end up selling us the rest of the maps I feel like it's gonna happen because we're gonna do I I personally am demanding that they release all the maps that's what people want they don't not there's not a lot of people hyped up for Call of Duty Infinite and I feel bad for Infinity Ward because they put a lot of work into the campaign into the story into the writing into the lighting into every aspect of this game and then it's not even gonna be really all that hype because we're too much there's too much Fanboys like such I don't even give a shit. I'm a, I'm a gamer nerd. There's I'm a fanboy If I find out that Call of Duty 4 is being remade and they're not dropping all the maps I'm, I'm pissed off. I'm not even being hyped for the rest of the the good news. It's a new Call of Duty It's infinite warfare infinity wars behind it, you know all the good stuff, you know all the hype just goes away completely finding out that Call of Duty 4 is only gonna have 10 maps and on top of that wet work and shipment should be in there So it should have 12, you know 10 plus the two given it's in the campaign 
Shipment's easy to make. What the fuck? Anyways, hope you enjoyed my commentary and my reaction to Call of Duty Infinite trailer. Uh, like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more shooter content. I also put up montages. I'll also be doing walkthroughs in the future. And uh, leave a comment. What do you think they're going to do with uh, Call of Duty 4? Are they just going to leave COD 4 with just 10 maps? Are they going to add infinite maps into it? Or do you think they'll actually put the rest of Call of Duty's um, maps on? Hopefully they do that and then some. You know what I'm saying? I love Call of Duty. Everyone's been waiting for this COD 4 hype. Gal 4 hype. It's all about the 4. Anyways, peace out you guys.